What to expect in this year's H-1B cap season from the Biden administration? Welcome to Voice of Immigration. I'm your host, John Veely, CEO of Online Visas, the intelligent immigration platform. Here's what we know. The Biden administration issued a memo on January 20th, immediately freezing midnight regulations that the Trump administration issued but had not yet taken effect within 60 days of the election and withdrawing all pending rules that had not yet been published in the Federal Register. The three regulations implemented by the Trump administration were one, changing the H-1B lottery selection process from first filed to higher salary, more skilled. Two, increasing Department of Labor's prevailing wage requirements to higher salary percentiles for H-1B visa holders. Three, placing additional obligations on both employers that placed visa workers at third-party client sites and on the end client companies where these workers are placed. Let's dig into what this means for this year's H-1B cap season. One, the final rule on strengthening the H-1B non-immigrant visa classification. That was withdrawn on January 15, 2021, after extensive litigation and a prior unsuccessful attempt in October 2020 to issue an interim final rule. The Department of Homeland Security posted an advanced but not yet published copy of a proposed final rule entitled Strengthening the H-1B Non-Immigrant Visa Classification Program. After the prior interim final rule was rebuked by the courts, for failing to follow proper rulemaking procedures as an interim final rule. The Trump administration then attempted to issue a final rule to change how USCIS interprets employer-employee relationships for H-1B workers at third-party work sites. It would have placed increased scrutiny and regulatory burdens on all employers that place H-1B workers off-site at other companies' locations, including outsourcing companies, staffing agencies, and IT consulting businesses. In addition, under the direction of this rule, the DOL was already in the process of revising its own guides to require certain secondary employees, i.e. the third-party worksite companies, to prepare their own LCAs, those are labor condition applications, on behalf of H-1B workers placed at their worksites. These changes would have increased the request for evidence and denial rates for many H-1B employers beyond the all-time highs of the denials that the Trump administration placed on American companies desiring to hire H-1B visa holders. However, the agency was unable to timely publish the final rule in the Federal Register before President Biden took office, and as a result, the rule will automatically be withdrawn. While it is unknown the level of scrutiny USCIS and the DOL will place on H-1B employers now, it will be significantly less negative under the Biden administration. The result? Higher approval rates for H-1Bs. Number two, H-1B cap wage selection final rule. Possible further delay. On February 8, 2021, the Trump administration published a final rule that considerably changes the lottery system for H-1Bs. This rule favors higher salaried positions. Under the new rule, USCIS will rank lottery registrations in order of the highest wage levels for each occupational classification. Lottery preference will then be given to H-1B petitions at the highest levels, which will increase their odds of selection. Conversely, this new rule is expected to decrease the chances of H-1B petition selection for those companies that do not pay the H-1B workers' salaries at the highest wage levels. At the time of the rule publication in early January 2021, it was not yet clear whether USCIS would have sufficient time to implement this new wage prioritization before annual lottery registration begins in March 2021. Practically speaking, employers have been stuck waiting for guidance to fully plan for the upcoming H-1B lottery season. Now, pursuant to the Biden administration's suggested regulatory freeze on rules enacted within 60 days of the election, DHS is further directed to consider further delaying or publishing for notice and comment proposed rules further delaying such rules beyond a 60-day period. Given this newly directed delay, it is possible that the wage prioritization selection process will not affect this year's H-1B lottery. Result, likely will not go into effect this season. That means the wages will not be increased for this year's H-1B season. The next one is the DOL Strengthening Wage Protections Final Rule. That was delayed. On January 12th, the DOL published a final rule to increase the prevailing wages required for a number of visas, including the H-1B. 
The rule increased the current wage system for prevailing wages starting in July 2021 and continuing through June 2024. It was expected that this rule would significantly increase prevailing wages over the course of the next three and a half years. This would have adversely impacted the ability of many employers to file visa petitions and green cards. Now, under the frozen midnight regulations memo, it's expected that these prevailing wage changes will be delayed for at least 60 days and the agencies should consider opening a 30-day comment period to allow interested parties to provide comments about the issues of fact, law, and policy raised by those rules and consider pending petitions for reconsidering involving such rules. It remains unclear whether the Biden administration will attempt to revise or rescind this prevailing wage increase rule. However, we should expect to see action taken during the first few months of 2021. Result unknown. There are advocates for higher wages within the Democratic Party, such as labor unions, which will have an impact on an increased wage. The question is whether the Biden administration will withdraw, change, or accept the Trump regulations the way they are. So there you go. Higher approvals, same lottery, and same wages as last year, likely for this year's H-1B. We don't know it for sure, but if you want to discuss you or your company's situation, go to onlinevisas.com and set up a strategy session. If you want to stay up to speed on the ever-changing world of immigration, subscribe to Online Visa's YouTube channel. Please click like and share and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Quora, and Instagram. I'm John Veely, CEO of Online Visas, the intelligent immigration platform where we deliver dreams.